And now for a brief history of slavery. Here's the first thing you need to know. Slavery was not invented by white people. It did not start in 1619 when the first slaves came to Jamestown. It existed before then. It did not start in 1492 when Columbus discovered the New World. In fact, when the intrepid explorer landed in the Bahamas, the native Taino tribe hoped that he would help them defeat their aggressive neighbors, the Caribs. The Caribs enslaved the Taino and, on occasion, served them for dinner. Slavery existed in Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. The word slave actually comes from the Slavs of Eastern Europe. Millions of them, all white by the way, were captured and enslaved by Muslims in the 9th century and later by the Ottoman Turks. Slavery existed when the Roman Empire controlled the Mediterranean and most of Europe from the 1st through the 5th centuries. Slavery existed when Alexander the Great conquered Persia in the 4th century BC. It was so common that Aristotle simply considered it natural. The slave master model was just how the world operated in the great philosopher's day. Slavery existed during the time of the ancient Egyptians 5,000 years ago. As far back as we can go in human history, we find slavery. As renowned historian John Steele Gordon notes from Time Immemorial, slaves were a major item of commerce. As much as a third of the population of the ancient world was enslaved. Here's the second thing you need to know. White people were the first to formally put an end to slavery. In 1833, Britain was the first country in the history of the world to pass a slavery abolition act. They were quickly followed by France, who in 1848 abolished slavery in her many colonies. Then, of course, came the 13th Amendment in the United States Constitution. After centuries of human slavery, white men led the world in putting an end to the abhorrent practice. That includes the 300,000 Union soldiers, overwhelmingly white, who died during the Civil War. Now, am I saying that this makes white people better than anyone else? Of course not. My purpose here is to simply tell the truth, and the truth is that human history is complicated. No one, regardless of skin color, stands guiltless. Yet today, we are never told to consider the murderous Persian Empire or the cannibalism of indigenous tribes of North and South America or the heinous actions under the imperialistic Muslim, Chinese, Mongol, or Japanese empires, to name just a few. Instead, we're told that slavery is a white phenomenon. And like all persistent lies, this lie spawns a bunch of other lies. On social media... Bro, I'm sorry. My mind is freaking like, what? Now, I'm going to be honest. When it comes to certain things, look, I'm going to be 100%. I'm not saying that Candace Owens is wrong. I trust Candace Owens. You know what I'm saying? I, I definitely trust her word because I know that she put a lot of effort into every video she put out to find research to actually dive deep into whatever she's speaking on. You know what I'm saying? But anything that I don't know... And it's coming from another person. I got to do my own personal research. And I'm not saying that she's wrong at all. Okay. She may be a hundred percent right. But from what I have been told throughout, obviously school and, and people around me and things like that, I will have to like, I'm, if this is true, that is crazy. If this is true, that is crazy. The fact they will, they are sitting here still lying to us to this day, till this day. In history class, in every in every aspect of history, they're still lying to us. If this right here is true, because let's let's be honest, who's really going to look up all these different things? They're going to go off the history book, and whatever the history books say, that's what they're going to go by. Whatever the whatever the view and the news and all these other different uh, resources, woke resources at that say, they're going to go off that. You know, what I'm saying all these woke black people, they say things like this. The white phenomenon, like they say things like this and everybody's going to go off of it. But I, I'm actually like, I'm actually right. I'm intrigued. I'm, I'm actually intrigued right now. Like my mind is like really blown right now, bro. This is crazy. Let's finish. I come across extraordinary depictions about how Africans lived like pharaohs before Europeans came and laid waste to their paradise. I wish any of this were true, but it's not. It's a fantasy. The truth 
is that Africans were sold into slavery by other black Africans, and in many cases, sold for items as trivial as gin and mirrors. Whites didn't go into the interior and round up the natives. They waited on the coast for their black partners to bring them black bodies. The stark reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is- I gotta replay that part. That's John crazy. Reality is that our lives had very little value to our ancestors. Wow. Here's the third thing you need to know. If you think slavery is a relic of the past, you're wrong. There are some 700,000 slaves in Africa today, right now. That's the lowest estimate that I could find. Other sources say there are many more. For context, that's almost twice as many slaves as were ever brought to the United States. Child soldiers, human trafficking, forced labor, these are the conditions that currently exist within the same sub-Saharan region where the transatlantic slave trade originated. African bodies are being sold today like they were sold then, and no, they are not being purchased by any country of white men. In fact, slavery, by any traditional definition, is exclusively practiced today within non-white countries. But we hear almost nothing about that. Just like we hear nothing about how slavery was universal until good people in Europe and America ended it two centuries ago. Why? Because our so-called leaders, black and white, wouldn't profit from it. Black victimhood is nothing if not profitable. It elects politicians and funds racial grievance groups. And if black Americans began to view themselves as partners in the American dream, if we embraced the patriotic spirit that holds all men are created equal, the patriotic spirit that is our real heritage, then the race hustlers would soon be out of business. And who wants that? I'm Candace Owens, author of Blackout for Prager University. Thank you for watching this video. To keep Bro, if this is the truth and I've been lied to my whole life, yo, that is crazy. Bro, I ain't gonna lie. Like I said, I'm gonna have to do my own. Now I'm now I'm ready. I'm pumped up because I want to find out the truth for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? I found out a lot of truths in my life. One truth I did find is finding God and believing in Jesus Christ. That's the one truth I found. Now it's time to find this type of truth, which is about slavery. Because I hear different things on slavery and hear different people talk about it and things like that. And obviously from what I learned from school, things like that. Like if you know me, you know that I'm not saying that I'm not a big fan of slavery. You feel me? But however, I'm not the person, I'm not one of those people that's always using it as an excuse. Slavery this and slavery that. I'm not, I'm not one of those people that's always using it as an excuse. And I'm not one of those people that's always use, uh, what is it? Um segregation as an excuse either you know so i'm just not one of those people but it's funny to me how how this video came out almost i think a year ago a year ago and it's not really talked about that shows how much truth possibly could be in this video that shows how much truth could possibly be in this video came out a year ago i think it only got like let me see like probably one million views which is really really what what is it uh, how many views this got Oh, 2.1 million views, which is honestly not enough views, in my opinion. I feel like this video should honestly blow up simply because if this, I'm not now the reason I say if because I do want to do my own research, but I know Candace Owens and I know how much effort she put into her videos. I I'm literally I'll say 95% 95% that this video is a hundred percent true. I'm 95%. I believe 95% that this is honestly true. The other 5%, I just want to do a little bit more research, dig digging my own hands just to see if everything is 100%. You see what I'm saying? But honestly, shout out to Candace Owens for talking about slavery. Uh, and this was really short, short and simple. You know what I'm saying? If this was in school, they would have to go through five, 10 different lessons just to get one point across. I'm glad that she made it short and simple. 
five, what, five minutes, five minutes, short and simple. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, this is, this junk is crazy. This junk is crazy, bro. My mind is honestly blown right now, bro. Like, if, my mind is blown, yo. This is crazy. This is honestly crazy. White people didn't invent slavery. That is, that's a wild statement. I think I want to title that the video, bro. That's a wild statement. But anyways, and it's a true statement. It's a wild statement, but a true statement. Come on now. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below, man. How y'all feel about this? Y'all crazy. I love y'all. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.